This tutorial video has two parts. In order to do this, you'll start on your old computer and you'll go into Windows Explorer. You'll go to your C drive and then view the users. Go into your name and then you'll highlight all of these folders. The two most important folders that people want to make sure that they get on their new device are especially this one right here, your desktop folder, and that involves bringing back everything that's on your desktop to your new device, and then your favorites folder. That will bring in all of the favorites that you have saved to Internet Explorer. It will then bring them back to Internet Explorer on your new device. Once you have all of the folders highlighted, you'll right click and copy them. Then you can go to either an external hard drive or to your H drive. I'm going to go to my H drive because I don't have an external hard drive with me. I created a new folder that I'm going to call Backup with Today's Date. When I go into that folder, I'm simply going to right click and paste those folders that I copied from my C drive. I'm going to pause this video while this moves over. As you are waiting for things to move over, you can minimize it and go about your business. For the second part of this video, you will be doing this on your new laptop. You'll simply go to desktop mode by clicking the Windows icon on your keyboard and it'll bring you to this screen. When you're in this screen, you'll go to your H drive or your external hard drive, wherever you saved your backup data and then go into that folder and highlight all of the folders. You can just click the box right here, right click, cut, which means it's going to remove from your H drive, then go into your C drive, users, your name, and then down here you can just right click, paste. And what that will do is it will bring the information over so your desktop will begin populating and it will look the same way that your old desktop did and it will also bring over your favorites and some other data that you can see here. This moving it back over may take a while as well. So you can always minimize and go back about your day. Once this is completed you will have access to all of your user data.